What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network. And today's video is going to be based off of Elijah Lee, the Kansas State linebacker. We're looking at a game against Stanford, number eight Stanford, uh, from this season. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at the plays that he made. Uh, some more than others, like always, you'll see some cuts. So let's get right into it. Back at Stanford, McCaffrey right next to him. And they'll give it to him running over the right side. McCaffrey crosses the 40 up. Empty backfield for Burns. He'll throw it. All right, so I want to... I wanna... Okay, so let's look at this play right here at approximately eight seconds. Uh, you see Elijah Lee is right here. And what this is going to happen, quarterback is going to roll up into the pocket here. He's going to come up a little bit and come out towards here. I believe either this is, I think this is Christian McCaffrey. He's going to come here on a little uh, route. He's going to bite the run from the quarterback to the right side uh, and leave Elijah, like he's going to leave McCaffrey here and then eventually make the tackle on this side here. For Burns, he'll throw it. So you see McCaffrey goes, he rushes to the right a little bit and then bites it. He was able to make the tackle, but still at the same time, uh, a little bit disappointing that he did there. Next play, runs to the right. He wasn't able to get off of his block, but I mean, that was just a great defensive play by Barnett. Next play, coverage. He's looking, checks the linebacker, is able to help on the tackle there. Able to bring the man down, though. Nice job checking on the, the tight end, though, uh, on that play. I thought that was a very, very, very good play there, so... We go, next play, he's looking, he finds where the ball is. I think that's the one thing I got to go with there, is that he's able to find the ball. Next play, you see Lee playing a little bit of a zone, able to get the rebound by the quarterback and get a nice tackle on third and seven. That's great defense. A nice job there. You see, he's, he's, I think he's doing a QB uh, spy here. Not really covering anything specifically, but trying to make sure he gets the, really just stay with the quarterback. Third and two, he's able to get off of a quick block and then try to get to the outside. But once again, just a nice tackle by Barnett. First and ten. This is my probably my favorite play. Hold up, let me go back a little bit. Wait, so this is probably my favorite. Two of my favorite plays here. He's gonna plug up the middle right here where McCaffrey's gonna run on two straight plays and make the tackle. Watch this right here. He goes, figures out where the ball's going, and stops McCaffrey quickly. Quickly stops McCaffrey. Then we go to the very next play. Same thing. Run, same way. He gets off of his block, but that just even not even getting to stop stopping him. Just looking at this play right here. So McCaffrey's going to do the same play run through. He's going to pull away the guard. And basically shut off of the guard's tackle. That takes out that amount of space for McCaffrey to be able to run through. And Elijah Lee is able to just manipulate that. And being able to get off of that, not only get off of that block, he takes the guard away, which frees up the defensive line and the linebackers, safeties, corners, able to get the stop here. So you see he goes up. Guard pulls away from here. Tries to get the block. He's able to shed off of it. And immediately taking that down. Because when you think about it, homie... Instantly starts looking at Elijah Lee. That's the first thing he went towards. But being able to take away that one guard, even on that little block and getting off of his tackle after, left up so so much space for the defense to be able to continue to get over through there. Next play is going to be a pass play. Now, this is probably one of the faults that I find in his game uh, that I dislike. Is this right here. So... When you look at the play here, uh, it's going to be a pass play to the outside. Watch what he does here. I'm going to pause it in a sec. Goes there. Right here, he has the speed to close in. Right here, he has the speed to close in on number 88, the tight end here. As the quarterback's making his three-step drop, there's a guy rushing. But look at this. Look at how he's sort of walking right here. He's waiting and pacing when he has nothing to do. When you look at it, 35 is going to be able to come right here and get this spot filled. All he has to do is make sure that he is able to get the tight end. Safeties can't do everything. They're meant to be your help. But here, when you're supposed to be playing a zone as a linebacker, you should want to be able to also cover this area, seeing a free man open. As you see, they get the pass off and then get a first down. They had them backed up. Clearly had them backed up. 
So that's one of the only things I disliked right there was just bad, bad football play. Not even necessarily a bad thing, just a bad football play. You see this play, another run. Not able to get off of his block, but that's fine. Very next play, run to Scarlett, and he just plugs this one. I mean, to look at this, look at this play really quick. You see, it's going to be a run from, uh, to, for Cameron Scarlett off this way to try to get through right here. This guy's going to try to block the linebacker here. And all Elijah Lee has to do is see where the ball is going. And he immediately knows that this isn't going to be a read option. Even if it is, he knows that he has men over here. There's no way that the quarterback is going to be able to get a read option off this way. So the quarterback's going to have to hand the ball off this way. He knows immediately what's going to happen. And then instantly is able to get his speed and close in. And running back can't do anything on that play. Now there's only one more play I want to look at. I don't know if it's this play necessarily. Uh, but there's only one more play that I really actually want to look at here. And it's not this one, although I think it was a nice job there by him getting off the blocks. Next play, third and 14. Now, this is my favorite play. You see the quarterback step up, and that is just an amazing throw. Let me pause it there. That throw is an outstanding throw when you think about it. Lee had him covered up completely. Tight end comes down. I have to keep remembering that mm, I, you can't see my finger, but I can, so I have to use the mouse. Tight end is going to be running basically a streak right through here, and Lee has that perfectly covered. I mean, the quarterback just threw a very good throw on this play when you look at it. He runs the seam down, and that ball is perfectly placed. Elijah Lee, I mean, at this point in time, there's really nothing you can do. That was just such a beautiful pass to his tight end. And just look at the throw. He is not I mean, there's no right fault. There. He's not open on this play, as you see the announcers talk about. Lee had him covered up, but he just middle. absolutely That's was able to make a perfect throw. A that was a great throw by him. Now, I would like to go through the rest of this, but most of it isn't really just following him. Uh, but I do, I do like his play a lot. But it, it, the rest of the video isn't too good. You can really get it based off of just really these two minutes uh, off of some, some quick things. Uh, to go through a couple quick things here, uh, obviously, he has some issues uh, in terms of being able to shut off of blocks. I think he has a very good football IQ. I would give him a gr probably a third, third to fifth round grade. I think he could be a steal late for a team that would want to take him. I'd say his best fit would be a 4-3, uh, be able to play outside linebacker or maybe inside depending on I think his best fit team-wise would probably be the San Francisco 49ers, even though they run a 3-4. I don't know if they're switching to a 4-3, but I think that he, that, that could be his best fit. Uh, his worst fit, <clears throat> I would have to think, is the Bengals. Uh, I don't think he'd ever get a chance to start there, so that would suck for him. But I hope you guys did very much enjoy. My voice is giving out. I got one more video to make, and I just realized that most of these videos have been uh, very low in the audio, so... I have to go edit the audio, which will take a little bit longer. But hope you guys have very much enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. I don't know if you know, but my birthday is next Sunday. We're 48 subscribers away from 500. I want to be able to get there by Sunday or at least by the start of free agency. But hopefully by next Sunday. Not this Sunday. March 5th, next Sunday. So I hope you guys have very much enjoyed. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment down below your opinions and thoughts on Elijah Lee. And as always, peace.